Hello everyone, this is Tanya Joshi of MSc Microbiology 2nd semester presenting on the topic of heavy metals toxicity and their resistance in bacteria. These are the contents. Heavy metals are the transition elements that belongs to the D block in the periodic table having incompletely filled D orbitals which provide them the ability to form complex compounds with toxic effects when in higher concentration. Almost 53 metals with relatively high density of above 4.5 gram per centimeter cube has been reported as heavy metals. They are present in the environment majorly in three main groups that are micronutrient cations which include copper, cobalt, nickel, zinc, toxic cations that include cadmium, lead, mercury and toxic oxyanions that include arsenide, chromate and telluride. They can accumulate at various levels of food chain and hence widely distributed toxicants within the global environment when not in the trace amount. Cadmium, nickel, lead found their ways in water through wastewater. Nickel, the most abundant one in the environment due to its release during mining and smelting practices. Now the heavy metal toxicants causes environmental pollution, bone degeneration, liver, lungs and blood damage. Cadmium, the most dangerous metal ion for human health due to its hazardous nature and non-biodegradability. It affects the metabolism as it gets bind with essential respiratory enzymes, causes oxidative stress and inhibits DNA repair. Nickel is required as essential cofactor in several bacterial enzymes but disrupts metabolic process when in excess. Lead exposure in humans produces neurotoxicity, anemia and kidney damage. Heavy metal toxicants are classified on the basis of their toxicity levels as low toxicity has been shown by ferrous, molybdenum and manganese, average toxicity by nickel, copper, vanadium, cobalt and chromium and high toxicity by arsenic, cadmium, mercury, lead and uranium. Now heavy metals shown their toxicity effects majorly by two mechanisms. Number one is oxidative stress by producing excessive reactive oxygen species and their accumulation within the cell or through by interference with protein folding and altering their respective function. Now the contributors of heavy metal toxicants has been shown in this figure. The anthropogenic activities and natural sources which includes natural rock, volcanic eruption, wind blown dust particles and aerosols are the sources of heavy metals and their excess and amount causes heavy metal pollution by the means of industries by the process like mining, combustion of fusel foil, metal processing etc and through by agricultural activities like pesticides, inorganic fertilizer, sewage sludge and fungicide and through by domestic activities by the use of pet trees, inorganic and organic waste, detergents and medical devices. Now the heavy metal toxicity in microbes. Here the table represents several effects of heavy metal toxicants on microbes. Like the higher concentration of arsenic causes deactivation of enzyme, calcium cause, uh, cadmium causes denaturing of protein, chromium inhibits the growth, copper disrupts the cellular function, selenium inhibits growth rate, lead destroys nucleic acid and protein, mercury denatures protein, nickel upsets cell membrane, hinders enzyme activities and oxidative stress, silver lies the cell and zinc causes the death of the microorganism. Now the bacterial tolerance against toxic heavy metals. Bacteria being one of the most primitive form life form on the earth naturally develop tolerance to wide range of toxic heavy metals including arsenic, cadmium, cobalt, copper, nickel, mercury, tellurium, zinc in their genome. They play major role in biogeochemical cycling of toxic heavy metals also in cleaning up of metal contamination from the environment. Free swimming as well as surface attached that are biofilm bacteria, which are usually embedded in an extracellular polymeric substance matrix shows heavy metal resistance. Different, uh, different uh, bacteria shows different resistance mechanisms towards the heavy metal which includes sequestration of heavy metals in complex, reduction of metals to less toxic species, direct efflux of metals majorly and extracellular barrier. Uh, this figure represents different mechanisms of bacteria uh, towards the toxic heavy metals. Here the metal binding components like proteins sequester the metal ions. Excess sequestration also tolerate, uh, tolerate or 
रेजिस्ट द बैक्टी रेजिस्ट द हैवी मेटल्स सॉप्शन इंट्रासेल्युलर सिक्वेस्ट्रेशन केमिकल मॉडिफिकेशन टू लेस टॉक्सिक स्पीशीज ऑफ मेटल आयंस मेटल प्रेसिपिटेशन इंजाइम ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन रिड्यूस्ड अपडेक ऑफ हैवी मेटल टॉक्सिक्स एंड परमिएबिलिटी परमिएबिलिटी बैरियर टूवर्ड्स टॉक्सिक हैवी मेटल्स From now, I'll talk about few heavy metals and their resistance mechanisms. First one is the mercury, which is one of the highly toxic heavy metal cations, especially towards the nervous system of fetus or of young child. It has high affinity towards thiol group of enzyme, hence resulting in their inactivation associated with halting of normal cell functioning. It majorly exists in three forms in nature. Number one is metallic mercury, which is volatile in nature and used in metallurgical techniques. inorganic mercury which is also volatile in nature and exists in the form of mercuric oxide and mercuric sulfide organic mercury which is one of the most toxic form of it has the ability to solubilize lipid and high affinity towards the thiol group now the bacterial resistance towards mercury generally based on its two properties that are redox potential and vapor pressure in gram negative bacteria mercury ion is transported into cell via specific uptake system to prevent their periplasmic protein from its toxic effects now we'll see the mechanism towards mercury by bacteria which follows the path like uptake of mercuric ions reduction and finally the extracellular sequestration that is export of reduced mercury outside of the cell and its environment we know that pseudomonas aeruginosa contains meropron that reduces the mercury ion to to the volatile or elemental form of mercury this figure shows the mechanism of bacterial resistance towards heavy metals this meropron contains merp mert merc mere and merar genes which encodes for these properties now we can see that merty interacts with the periplasmic protein that is merp Mercy also works on mercury transporter as that of mercury. Now inside the cell, this cationic mercury get reduced to volatile or elemental form of mercury by the means of mer A gene, which encodes for the reductase enzyme. Here, mer R is the regulatory gene for mer T and mer P both. This protein binds to mer promoter and inhibits transcription initiation without mercuric ion. Aerobic mercury resistance bacteria also detoxify mercury by two inducible enzymes that are organomercurialase that has been encoded by mer B and mercuric reductase that has been encoded by mer A gene. Desulfovibrio desulfuricans also detoxify mercury by the process of methylation as the methylated form of mercury is less toxic than its ionic form. The minimal inhibitory concentration of mercury in E coli is just 10 millimolar. that means this amount can inhibits the growth and development of e coli now let's talk about lead it is used in high amounts since 25 years and used as fuse earlier in uh, it also used in the field of bullets fusible alloys radiation shields it is one of the most potent neurotoxin as it accumulates in soft tissues and bone over time due to its low solubility its minimal inhibitory concentration for e coli is 5 millimolar gram negative as well as gram positive bacteria shows resistance towards it pseudomonas marginalis also removes lead through extracellular exclusion bacillus megatherium accumulates lead by intracellular cytoplasmic accumulation mechanism lead form of ions reduce strain of Staphylococcus aureus and Citrobacter furandi accumulates lead by intracellular mechanism. Now the bacterial resistance mechanisms to lead: Ralstonacea metallidurans and R eutropha CH34 contains PBR operon that is involved in uptake, efflux, and accumulation of lead ion. It has certain genes that are PBRT, which encodes the uptake protein. PBRA that encodes for efflux ATP is that are the transport proteins PBRB that encodes for the integral membrane protein Now here there is a is the pictorial representation of the bacterial resistance mechanism towards lead 
the first is the extracellular immobilization where the lead ion get sequestered by eps and immobilized by inorganic ligands to form lead precipitates the second is the surface absorption where lead gets adsorbed by functional group like carboxylases present in the cell wall of bacterial cell third one is the intracellular mobilization through metallothiones and inorganic ligands fourth is the efflux mechanism and fifth is the uh, sidophores and sixth is pbr r691